Today I'll give you a framework or structure that you can use to take notes of your meetings using Roam. If you're a Roam newbie, uh, perhaps some parts of this video will be a bit confusing. Consider taking my Roam Masterclass. There are a few free lessons that will get you started. And if you did buy it, you'll find more on templates, which I use in this video on lesson 17. That out of the way, let's get to work. So these are my daily pages. I just expanded them and I try to log every day everything that I do. And for today, later on, there will be a meeting at 6 with Milton. What I did with meetings uh, until today was to keep it really simple. Just, you know, attack for the meeting, attack for the person I'm meeting with, and attack for the place where I'm meeting them. For example, if we go to my meetings page, here I have all of the meetings that I, well, that I had since I started roaming. And this is why I keep this page, to have a log of everything. And for example, if we go to April the 7th, we will see how I used to structure meetings. So this is how I did things. But then something happened. So I was browsing Twitter and I found that my strategic friend, Cajlil Cortazo, had this little tweet regarding this other guy, Bo, I think, Bohan, that I, I wasn't aware of. Of course, well, he was talking about uh, some structure that you could use in, in Rome. And, and of course, I did uh, my due process, checked him out, uh, decided that he is a little bit like uh, the cool version of me. I mean... And so I took a second, more serious look at his uh, meeting structure proposal. Now, Vo himself says that uh, this is just personal preference that you can do uh, whatever you want in Rome, and that's the whole thing about Rome. Well, one of the awesome things about Rome. So I did just that. So let's do this. Go to your template page. If you don't have it, uh, just create a new page called Rome slash templates. Here I keep, I mean, you can you can create a page, a template, I mean, anywhere you want in your, in your database. Uh, I like to keep them all here nice and clean. I'll create a new one. And underneath, anything we put here is going to become the template, in this case, meetings. This code here, you will have it in the video description below. Feel free, of course, to change it however you want. We got attack for biddings. We got this open here that will allow us to customize who we are meeting and where we are meeting that person and the date we are meeting them on. And then a meeting headline. This is uh, Bo's idea, of course, and on this headline, what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to write what I think the meeting will be about. And then, later on, if needed, change it to what the meeting was about. The date is useful for uh, future meetings. If I know today that I'm going to meet someone in, say, 15 days, I can write this down in my, in my daily notes, and then I can refer to the meeting by using the, the reference. And then the meeting structure. Uh, Bo uses the agenda as the second item. I prefer to have it as, as the first item. Uh, here I would list what I, what I plan to talk about or what my, uh, the person I'm meeting with plans to talk about. And then the meeting notes, what we actually talked about, what actually happened with a summary here. And then any follow-ups, uh, any to-dos that we have to follow up on. First, we would write, I would write them here. And then I would just do a blog reference and copy it copy the references here. You will see why next. So I have my daily page here on the right panel, on the side panel, and on the main panel I have the old meeting. Uh, let's basically compare how one looks compared to the other one. Let me focus on this block here. Close this. And since we have our meeting template now inside the templates page, I can just call the new templates. Here I have them. Meetings and the template just pops up. Now, if I wanted to do this old meeting here or this old style of uh, structure and add it here, what I would do is uh, meeting with Milton at this time it was at Gaudium Zoom. And I'm not going to use the date because this is happening, or in this case, this is happening in the day plan, in the day log. So the date is up here. Very handy. No need for a date. If I wanted to use the date in the future, then um, again, this would uh, allow me to set, you know, reminders and everything else. Meeting headline. Here, what I thought the meeting would be about would be Google's uh, AI. 
and the agenda was this and that's it that's what i wanted to talk that day with milton about milton knows a lot of ai then i actually had the meeting and uh the first to do is that i wanted to learn more i just didn't want pick, to pick up a milton set too much that day and instead of that let me copy this here this is what i would have written down back that day and i think that's it no more to do's here that's for the follow-up and the actual meeting notes would be that milton recommended it's not here but he did recommend i watch now that i think about it this is actually a to-do so let's move it up here and to make it just uh, quite fair let's also copy this here because this idea is that we can compare how one looks versus the other one and in meeting notes i would write and then i would write and then i would just copy this here now the last thing to do would be to do a copy block ref here and this is what one way of uh, taking notes in meetings looks like and this is the result of you know just having the exact same amount of, informa of information but in a more structured way i think this is way way better and that's why i'm starting to use it starting today so that's it if you like this little video and would like to keep on learning consider taking my newbie to advanced user masterclass and if you enjoyed this video and would like to buy me a coffee for it feel free to do it here the link with everything else that we talked about in this video, code, links, etc. is in the description below. Have a nice day.